Hi guys, Rhonda without an H here with you. Okay, I started working on my Christmas scene and then I decided that maybe I would see if you would like to join me on this process. Um, for the last couple of years, instead of a Christmas letter or something like that, I started making uh, a zine. That's spelled Z. Z is in zebra. I N E. Um, and so that's what I'm working on today. So, for those of you that are not familiar with zines, that's short for magazine. It started out more as a political kind of a thing, um, a way of cheaply producing a book, if you will. And so, anyway, we artists have adapted it and taken it into different levels and all of that. So this is my Christmas zine that I'm going to send out to friends and family. Um... They're very easy to make. They take as long as you want them to take. <laughs> and then the idea is, this is a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. That's what's standard in the U.S. And then you make nice color copies of your original. And you fold the copies and you send those out. To family and friends. So basically you are folding your paper in half lengthwise. Then you are folding it in half widthwise. And then you take and fold that in half and turn it to the other side and fold that in half. And of course you crease with a bone folder so that you've got nice creases in there. And then, and then, I find my middle two sections and I cut. You can do it with scissors or an X-Acto knife. Only cut these two sections. If you cut then you got a, an issue. It's workable, but not as easy. Okay, so then you push in. See how I'm kind of folding this down and I'm pushing this in. And here's my front and my back. And I just fold that over. Now, what I do, and you'll notice here, hmm, Excuse me, I, w I really wasn't planning on, on uh, videoing today, but, but hey. So when I f do the folding, I will lightly with pencil, I will label my um, pockets or sections, if you will. You always want to work up. What people get bogged down with is working up and then working up here and of course when you fold it then it's upside down so you work up on one side you turn it around and you work up on the other side so what I do to keep myself on track is I just take my pencil lightly when I make my little book let booklet and I first fold it okay then I will go ahead with a pencil and I will just mark. This was marked one, page one. This is the cover. Page two, page three, page four. Ah, there's my four. Page five, page six, page seven, and the back cover, page eight. And that helps you to know where to put what. So, since this is uh, Hubby and I's Christmas uh, zine, 
uh, one of the things that I do is highlight um, what we've done uh, through that year. And of course, this year we moved. It was a major, major this year. So um, what I'm starting out with, what I've decided I want to do, I'm starting out with Santa Claus and just fun. This is a, a fun retro image. Um, and this is Dave and Rhonda Winstead, our highlights from 2019, which is this year. Okay. Um, and then I went ahead and I did some bullet points uh, for the year. Uh, with Hubby and I, we went, I just kind of jotted down things that we did that were important to us or of note or that might be interesting, you know, to some of our family and friends that might not be aware of everything. And I, I condensed mine down to just these bullet points, just a couple of pages. I wanted to be able to decorate and put other fun things on here. Um, let's see. Let's take that out a little bit. So with that in mind, the first part, this is page two, of course. I've got page one done. Page two, I have glued on with um, my stick glue. By the way, for Christmas, one of the things I've asked for is Yoohoo stick glue. Um, I've measured and cut this down. I'm going to stitch around here with my machine. I'm not going to show you that process because it's you've seen some of my other videos um, I just don't want to take the time to do that on this um, it takes quite a bit to set it up and put it away and set it up and put it away that kind of thing so I want to put some things on top of this so knowing I'm going to stitch around here and I pulled out some stickers from my travel folder, I've got a travel folder. Um, these are, that's Christmas. I definitely will use those. So I'm trying to decide, you know, this was back kind of when I was doing more scrapbooking. And this, you know, we didn't fly, we drove, so I wouldn't use that. And we don't have a cat or a dog, so I wouldn't use that. Um, this is kind of cute, and I could, well, I suppose I could be carrying a teddy bear, but um, I could maybe put those on there. Let's see what else we've got. Um, and I usually just, oh, there's a, <laughs> okay, an airmail sticker. Let's just find a spot for that for right now. Um, and this, as I'm working on this, this brings back memories of, you know, the actual trip. When we left in February to go to Arkansas, we lived in Pullman, Washington. That's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, anyway, when we left it was snowing we'd already had about oh gosh 16 inches of snow on the ground and normally speaking oh that's kind of you know what I kind of like that I think we're gonna go with that so before I come back I'll finish telling you the story but as we work along, but before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and stitch around my edges and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've got some threads and I'm going to go ahead and trim those because, well, <laughs> because, because I'm a quilter and that's what we do, kind of. All right, now this has sticky stuff. 
So let's just, I'm just going to push that down like that. And then add these other things. So anyway, when we left on our trip and we do not, as a general rule, my husband does not uh, like to travel <clears throat> in bad weather. Well, I don't either. But, uh, so the idea that, mm, excuse me, just a sec. <coughs> oh, that sickness I had shortly. Guess what's lingering? Uh-huh, the cough. <laughs> the old nasty cough. Okay. Where was I? Um, anyway, we just don't travel in winter, um, generally speaking. Let's see, there where we did stop at rest areas along the way. <clears throat> and it was snowing. And to leave the... <clears throat> when I opened my car door, it was brushing the snow out of the way. It was that deep. It was like, oh man. But we just, you know, we'd prayed about it and we were just like, we feel like this is when we need to go. So we're going to go. And we'll hope that the roads get better and that it turns out to be a good trip. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. Okay. So this is signifying we're all loaded up. We've got luggage. We've got keys, of course, and we're going to stop at rest areas. I like that. And I have stitched around here, but you maybe can't see it because it is white. But if you turn over, you can see very lightly. And sometimes I like to stitch something that's a contrast. But this is, this is fun. I like this. Okay. So, moving on. Now, what do we need to do? But, but to finish up, to make a long story short... It turned out, we, once we got uh, close to Spokane and beyond, as we're heading west, the roads were, they got better and better. Uh, we had no problems, and we, it was beautiful. It, it was just beautiful, and it turned out to be the perfect time. And we're really glad that we went when we did, because after that, what we thought would be uh, we were going to wait for it to clear up. Well, it never did. <laughs> Pullman got a lot of snow last year. And so had we not gone when we did, it would have be, been even worse for traveling. So sometimes you just kind of have to listen to that inner voice or the spirit or whatever guide you go by. Um, okay, so... And you know what I'm really frustrated with is I didn't take a picture. And outside, you know, stand off by the neighbors and take a picture of our new house. Um, and now it's all ugly because the trees are all bare and leaves are all over the lawn. And, you know, so I don't want to now. I got to do that for next year. So... What do I want to put in between these two? Okay, so let's fold it up. I do this a lot when I'm working. And these, I, I liked to do this with the tag and have this loose because it's just kind of fun. And I'll show you what I do on the copy when I get this all done and copy it. Okay, so we're reading the book. This is, we're telling about what's going on. And this just kind of goes through our whole year. We did, we made a few trips uh, after moving here, and one of our sons got married, and a granddaughter is going on a mission for our church. And, in fact, next week she's leaving for Japan. We're excited for her. And we're by family now that 
We're really enjoying spending time with them. I'm going to a granddaughter's concert tonight. She plays beautiful flute. She won, she had a recent competition and she got best chair first, first band first chair out of a lot. I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80 flute players. So that was pretty awesome. Um, okay. So this is just a summary of our whole year, but it's also a Christmas card e kind of thing. Well, I'm not sure about this, but I do know this, what I wanted to do here. So I'm definitely both, I mix Santa and the nativities because I, I love the idea of Santa, it's giving, and I love, you know, my Savior, and so that's also giving, and so I put the two together often. That's Christmas. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> so in here, I've got Christmas religious images. I kind of split up some of my images from whimsical and funny or snowman or religious. So let's see if I can find, so I want the end to be more of a religious and that's nice but it's kind of dark and it's a little too small I think. Now I'll show you what I'm going to put on there and this I just was on my computer playing around and so this will be on the last page and then I'll sign you know we'll both sign our names so this is like the end but I don't want to say the end okay so there's that a child is born that's nice um oh isn't that sweet it's a little too big Oh, the baby, baby Jesus. That's nice. Mm, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe I don't need to glance through my whole pile of... I've got lots of round. Let's see. Oh, there's a nice house. I could put that, maybe, let's set that aside for now, and that, that's a bit darker, I've just got so many different, okay, 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 <laughs> let's put, I think it's down to these two. Where's my bag? All right. And think about you guys when this kind of thing is your family history too. How amazing to give yourself that record. And I don't, I don't know about you, but writing a letter like a letter, letter, typing a letter, newsletter, for me is not an easy thing to do. But if I'm decorating something and creating something and it's more artistic, then I'm like, okay, I can do this. Okay, so my segments end up to be just about four and a quarter and two and three quarters wide four and a quarter lengthwise. So I'm going to trim down my little image. All right, two sides. And I hope that you are 
having a wonderful holiday season. I have to tell you, my husband, whom I love dearly and is my best friend, last year for Thanksgiving, we were in the hospital in Spokane, Washington, as he had had back surgery, major back surgery, number two major back surgery, um, earlier that year in May. And, and this year, a week after Thanksgiving, he had a, a hernia, an operation to have a hernia fix. And so, bless his heart, he is kind of miserable. And bless my heart, hello, <laughs> because all the things, he's such a wonderful help. And so when he's incapacitated, guess who <laughs> gets to do some of the things that my better half does. <laughs> so it's been <clears throat> it's been really busy and I've been trying to uh, catch up and do a lot of things. I, I told him, you know, please, no more, no, no more uh, operations during the holidays. Actually, it'd be nice to have no more operations, period. Let's see. So we can come down with this. So I'm going to stitch this. And then I will put this on. This is just... You can get super elaborate, and I have. But I'm trying to get this. This is one of those things that I'm trying to get done. So that uh, I can get prepared Normally, this should have been done quite a bit before. So, all right, I'll be back. All righty. So, now I have stitched on my nativity, Joseph, Mary, and the baby, and... Then I will go ahead and glue this down. I think what I'll do, let's see, where, I think for this I'm going to use double-sided scrapbooking tape, if I can find it on my desk here. Oh, you guys. I've got a mess a little bit. I really do. What did I do with it? Well, oh, right in front of my eyes. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just going to put this on the back and that will hold this securely. And then we'll, whoops, you can't see that. Sorry. All right, and I will position this right down here. Okay, nice, nice. Now I need to take that back so we can see the whole thing a little bit better. Okay, so now I've got my back cover, my front cover, my first page. All right, we've got three more pages to do. Um, want to do something colorful. Well, I don't know though, I had this. That's kind of cool. What if I cut this tag down it's the picture of a house it's not 
our house, but it is a house. Maybe I'll give that a try. All right. So, hmm, you guys are really good. A lot of you are really good at just eyeballing that and making that work. And I think that's amazing. But I also think I should stick to what I know <laughs> and do things that I am more comfortable with. Okay, so let's... Whoops. So then I will get my... corner rounder and I will round these corners and then I will also ink around my edges I like the I like the dimension. I like the texture, the inking around the corners and around the sides and edges of something like this. I like, I like the look. I do. I'm guilty. All right. Get that out of the way. And, okay. You know what? That's kind of cool. Let's do... Let's do it right here. And I could, if I wanted, in fact, what I could do... Sorry, I need to be watching this more carefully. I could make a little pocket to put this in this tag in I could do that mm. hmm all right this is where you get to watch me think <laughs> thinking this is partly why I don't do this very often, you guys, is because I think it has to be so tedious and boring to watch me think. Um, pocket or no? Let's see. I could bring some fabric. Nah, I don't like that. Let's see. But if I... Oh, this is pretty. I like this. I don't know. What if I... Just... See, I've got some other possibilities here. I've got some mittens. Mm, maybe a little too frivolous for that particular one. Not that it's frivolous, but you know. Let's try let's try something else. Let's see. What about some red and green. What about that as a pocket? And that stitched in there. And I could do a little bit of lace or something along here. I don't know. You know, nothing yet is floating my boat. What about. Okay. This is more in the color scheme, la la la. In fact, what if I were to put 
put a background and then put this here. A background. Huh. What if I do the white? Let's see. And I take it out to the whole packet and then I do a pocket with yeah all right let's continue looking trying some different things I like I like what do I like I like a lot of things <laughs> What if I did a corner? Just a, like a little, you know, like something like this on there. Little corner pocket. And then this slips in like that. <gasps> yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this. What do I need? Do I need that? Or should I just have a regular, the background, because this tag is going in there and that pretty much covers up everything. But layering and texturing and all that kind of stuff is pretty cool. But I am trying to get this done, aren't I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. Look how pretty even the back side of that is. Is that gorgeous? Oh, yum. I don't have much left, but this has been a gorgeous piece. All right, so what I'm going to do, first of all, this was two and three quarters, so two and a half inches. I'm going to cut a two and a half inch square. It's two and a half inch. You know what? I'm going to do it two and five eighths inch square. All right. Okay. And then, and then, I'm going to fold this down. And I'm going to finger press it. Oh, where is my press tool and you can take this to an iron of course and we will put it right here okay I will stitch that down but to stitch it I think I'm going to bring it as close to the fold and to the edge as possible so I have room for this okay okay I like that I'm going to go ahead I'm going to press this down and then I'm going to stitch along this side and this side and I will be back don't go anywhere okay I like this I think what I might do, <clears throat> not just yet, but I think, uh, bleh, I think I might use some snow stamps and just lightly go over some of this so this won't appear to be such a plain background, but it won't be uh, distracting as, either. So I've stitched my edges and the pocket fits very nicely. So I thought what I might want to do too is bring in, and I just happen to have this sitting on my desk actually, um, working on Christmas things of course, and that I'm going to put this down. That's really pretty. So, um, if I'd given a thought to it, before I would have stitched this to the fabric but because I didn't I'm going to go ahead 
and glue it. Let me trim that a little bit. So for this part, then I'm going to use my art glitter glue with the tiny little opening which makes it amazing to be able to apply. So we're just going to run a bead. I hope this works. This is fabric and fabric. We'll give that a try. And I will trim any excess off when it's had a chance. I'm going to slip this in to make sure <laughs> that we don't glue this pocket by mistake down. All right. That just makes it a little more special but not super intensive. You know, that's pretty. Okay, let's see if we can trim this edge off. We'll fold this back this other way. And I will, okay. Maybe a little hard to see. Get my my little fuzzies and put them in my little fuzzy for making fabric. Okay. That's going to need to dry completely. Um, when you know what I can do and I will do that I actually will do that I'll be right back I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch through this ribbon here and here and I'll probably just take this I don't know I may take it up to the end up here just to make sure that this is good and secure all right Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, and just to make a note too, I've also erased the little seven that was here. Um, I've got a six right here. Just a gum eraser is what I use. Okay. Two more to go. Um, and you can see this has kind of got its own color scheme going on now. So now, what to do next? I've got a pocket. I've got a tag. Well, maybe a tag. Got a pocket. Well, here's a tag. I've got a pocket. I've got a tag. Um... This is to let people know this was part of the traveling. We did take several trips this year. Um, fixing up our house. Uh, tch -tch 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 -tch. Maybe Dave had surgery, fixing up our house. But do I even want to highlight because they're on bullets? Do I just want to do some more, just some fun, pretty Christmas images? And yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I do, I think. All right, let's see. Um, I want to take a piece. I bought a piece of fabric and I made kitchen towels out of it. But it's got a really gorgeous print. 
and I maybe even just want to be able to and here again that's four and a quarter four and a quarter let's let's just cut this off I don't know if I'll use this but let's trim it let's see Move that a little bit out of the way let's trim it down and this is pretty for something and then we'll turn it around and we will let's see okay the trim on this other side as well let's see I don't know it's just something that's really pretty okay let's needs trimming up just a teensy bit oh and I did a no-no when you use your glues make sure you put the pin stainless steel mind you back in now I need to find something to wipe my finger on where's my I keep a little cheap washcloth that I wash over and over again okay let's see I'm gonna trim a little bit more off this and I don't know if this is even going to be something that I use here I just sometimes you just have to to give something a try and if you don't like it well you know you'll use it somewhere else on another project at some point it's not quite enough I can't quite tell yet <laughs> oh Okay, that'd be more. Let's, I don't know, let's fold the book up. Let's see if that will help me. That usually helps me. Whoops, got it all weirded. Okay, let's fold the book up. Let's open it up. Yada yada, they're on their trip in the snow. <laughs> and... Does it have to say anything? Can I just have like a beautiful piece of fabric there? Is that legitimate? That's really pretty. I really like that. But is it, am I wasting? Should I say something? I should put some, maybe if I put some words or something here let's see let's see let me get out some of my words that I've got um, and phrases let's see I feel so lucky. I do. I feel so lucky. That's definitely a truth. Only it's really we feel so lucky. Um, keep room, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Start doing things you love. Live your dream with power. Oh, there's so many good ones. Huh. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. 
Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Boy, that's for sure. I could cut that in, cut that off there and add that. Well, let's see. We could do small, small. I like that, actually. I'm going to do it. You guys didn't tell me not to, so... So I'm doing it. And I'm going to trim that down just a smidge. And I'm also going to edge. I know. Overkill? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But it just gives a more finished look to it. It really does. Okay. So, I will. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And then... Let's see, what mind I have? I'm going to put some anything on top of that. Or I could do like this and put something like that in the middle. Huh. This is not as easy for me <laughs> as maybe it is for some of you which is okay that's okay all right I'm just going to do a very loose fussy cut meaning I'm going to leave a lot of white as a border Otherwise, with this color that I'm using on this bell image, it wouldn't show up because of my black, green, and gold background. So we will just all righty. Okay. Well, that's not bad. I kind of like that, actually. I will just lightly do that. Okay. All right, so first of all, let's take that off and let's open this back up to work on. Take my tag out, do all of that sort of thing. I apologize for the mess. Um, okay, I think I'm recording. I had a message saying I had to delete some of my internal memory to keep going, so I did that. Um, okay, so what I'm doing now, I have stitched around my fabric here. I've glued this on, and I have these two little word phrases to glue on. Life doesn't have to be... And then we'll add perfect to be wonderful. I like that. And that's so true. 
All righty. I'll put my top on my glue. Okay, we'll put the tag back in. Ooh, that's getting exciting, guys. We are almost, almost done with this part. I have a little more work to do, but... Um, okay, fold it up. Take a look. So, Christmas time, that's what's going on, but earlier in the year was the middle of summer, we're hot, we're working on things, um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and erase my last little number um maybe just a fun just a fun christmas image something that's just kind of that i like let's see oh or it could be happy mail mm. Kind of, as I look at it, I, I didn't do this on purpose, but as I'm looking at this, these, this is about, you know, the logistics, the traveling, the moving. Here's the bullets of what happened through the year. Here's the other part of the year. So maybe an image that is sort of depicting that in some way. And then when you turn it over to this side, then it's all about Christmas, kind of, sort of the, the wind-up. So maybe that's what I'll do, is do this one. Oh, I wish I had a really cool family picture. That would work. But I don't have one with everybody in it. And I do, uh, this would be another one where a picture of the house outside, a picture of the house right here. So, okay, okay. Hang on just a minute. I will be right back. I am wondering if... Okay, I'm going to bring over my previous uh, zines and I have some houses somewhere in here that perhaps I can borrow this was fun these tags and everything. Let's see. No, not there. Just, I love zines. And of course, I keep the originals so I can print them up at any time. They just make me happy. Just make me happy. All right, here's a, here's a house. Here's a house. This was all hand-drawn, this particular one. So maybe this, Life is Better with Friends, or this one, although that says last year. I've got one more here. Let's go. And this was... Homes. <laughs> Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. So, I could, let's see. 
Let's see. Let me close this up. All right, let's just maybe see what looks good. We could do a... We could do this. <laughs> I like them all. Obviously, I like them all, or I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have uh, made this. Yeah, I'm going to do a house. This is cool. Like our new house. We have a fireplace. But it's gas. And we haven't hooked up the gas. But it is really pretty for Christmas atmosphere. <laughs> and at some point we'll do that. I don't want to do that one because that gives the dates of April of last year. Okay. This would be cute. Let's see. You've got the... Oh, what house? This goes in with my colors a little bit better, perhaps. I like this, too, with the red. Oh, no. What do you guys think? <laughs> or maybe even just this one. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. That totally fits. I mean, we're not living in a log cabin, but if I could afford it and beautiful mountains somewhere, I might. <laughs> but... There's no place like home. All right. So, I think it's between the heart. This will be more like for Valentine's Day. So, I think I'm going to rule this one out. And this is a contender. And the other one that I showed you is also a contender. So what I want to do now is to check in my zines and see if I have a copy that I don't have to go run a copy. I do on some but I don't know if this is one of them. All right, that's winter. That's a winter one. <laughs> this is the first one that we did a couple of years ago. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I have an extra copy of that particular zine. So, I am going to excuse myself and take a copy of this sheet. And then I will use a color copy to put on my zine. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my copy. So I am going to... And then I've got these other houses for some other fun projects that I can put in. Just a nice color copy. So we'll so set those aside. And if I do this and trim around there... Okay, so we're 
we don't normally <laughs> put it that way. I don't normally I don't normally do any of this on camera, quite frankly. <laughs> I hope you aren't bored, my friends. I really do. It is kind of what I do like about this is it is nice. I do feel like I'm chatting with you. And that's that's nice. I wish it were such that we could, you know, meet up, hot chocolate, chat, do our art together. That would be so fun. Okay, let's see. Um, so this part I'm not liking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and trim this very carefully. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these all out separately and hope that that will work. That I can make my words, I can use those as well. If I can't, I can always draw more, but it would be nice. So then it would just be a matter of then sort of trimming this up. Rounding that around. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not so good at chatting when I'm doing fussy cutting, am I? <laughs> like, no, what if it doesn't work? Be it ever, there's, there's no place like home. Be it ever so, I don't like that. So, okay. All right, well, let's pull this down again. <laughs> let's, let's find another house. Oh, so what I'm gonna do here this one that was one of my choices back a minute ago I like that all right you know see that's the deal I thought I had a winner 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 chicken dinner and then when it came down to it and I got it fussy cut out and got it lined up it it wasn't, it didn't, it was kind of a big dud. So, you just have to be willing to just keep at it. That's the process. I'd like to be able to tell you that it all comes really easily and that wow I just get inspired and boom it all just happens like that but it doesn't that's just not true 
Okay, so for this one, I am going to be able to trim a little bit more, though. Yeah, I'm going to trim these clouds. I'm going to separate this. And hopefully this will work. I need to be able to make my copies and I have packages that are ready to go in the mail to family. And I wanted to include my this year's zine in that. That's pretty cool. And actually it would look fine even if I didn't have any clouds, period. But, let's see. That's one thing that uh, when you do your artwork and you have copies, then you can do some really fun things. Okay, that's going to look fine. I like that. Okay, so, by Joe, I think we've got it. <laughs> and it's got the Christmassy, you know, you've got the touch of the red and the green. Um, okay, so, before I glue this, down. I'm going to go ahead now. Let's see. I want to put my zine on a piece of paper and I want to open one of my. I have no idea where I bought this or when, even, but it's got some snowflakes and I think. I will use just two of those and I'm going to do a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's see. Let me try color wise. Let's it's kind of a it's a green. Let me make sure. Let me do a little bit of stamping on some scrap paper first. I like that. That's nice. I may add a touch of blue. But I think these green, that's kind of cool. So, let's just... And I'm deliberately having it go over some of my other places so it looks... Um more joint, uh, joined together. It gives it a Christmassy touch. And it's easy to read, you know, underneath it, so that's not an issue at all. Let's see. Do just a little bit more here. And okay, it really doesn't need a ton, just a little here and there. Let's see, I don't want it to get on this particular one. Okay. Okay. I think that's fine. 
Um, so then all I have to do is to, oh, by the way, this is all just scrap paper that I didn't want to just throw away. So I stitched, I put a few together and <laughs> stitched it. So now I'll use it. And then when it gets gummed up, I'll rip it off and there'll be another one there. It's a easy, nice fix. Um, this is still a little bit damp, so hold your ears, plug your ears. I'm going to just really quickly do the heat gun. Do that. Now we will glue our house. And again, I will use my. And actually, I think we'll do it this way so it doesn't spill, get any onto my map board. I need to clean my map board again. It's actually quite new. And on camera, it shows up, I noticed on the last video that I did, it shows up that it's filthy, but it really isn't. But everything just shows up. So um, everything shows up so clearly that it makes it look like it's just awful. Okay, kind of. <laughs> it took me hours and hours to draw the house, you guys. <laughs> okay. And maybe it did originally, I don't remember. Well, I'm sure it didn't take hours and hours. But it might have taken a minute or two for sure. Ugh. That's when I've got my desk so cluttered, then it makes it that I just seem to be picking up things. All right. Okay, now let's close our little booklet and let's see. Dave and Rhonda Winstead, our highlights from 2019. We start and we have some of the highlights. And then the house, and we did move to Arkansas where it's green, greener, um, different, but still very beautiful. And we took several trips. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And here again, we've got fun tag. And then here's the back. All right, so I am going to show you if there's, you know what, I'm going to, I'll do that in a different video. We'll call this good for this video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed um, the process with me and that you'll think about maybe starting a new tradition in your family and home of doing Christmas zines rather than Christmas letters. All right. Until next time, bye now. Okay, I lied. I'm doing it on this video. Just a real short thing to show you what I ended up doing. So this is the copy. Um, you want to do nice color copies if you're sending them for, you know, part of your gifts or 
Christmas letter. So I folded this just the way I showed you before on the zines and cut the two sections in the center in the middle. So here it is. And I'm really happy with how it all turned out. You'll notice I added just a few more. I added another color, a little blue to the green on the snowflakes. But you can still read. And then my house. <laughs> and then the tag. Now this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, this is a copy and this is a, makes a nice little tag that you can stick in. So the way I did that, I will show you briefly how I did that. And then here is the back and then signed up mom and dad. Okay, so let's move this and I will show you with another copy what I did. Um, after I had folded everything then I laid it out again and I just took my straight edge and I cut along this line so that you could stick a tag in. Now this is the original tag. What I did was I took, I laid it out like this, and I took and made colored copies of the tag. And then I trimmed, I cut around here. You can see that. Let's see. I was going to show you the actual tag. So I trimmed that. And then this just, I just fold that in. Now, you can do one of two things. You can either just have it like that and it just sort of s slips in there. But it kind of, if you're not careful, it'll, you know, pew, it'll fall through. Or what you can do, I know it's a little bit more work, but it depends on what, what you want. It's hard to perhaps see this, but I cut myself a triangle, um, a square, and cut it in half. And then you can glue along the edge here or stitch along the edge here. And that's what I did was I stitched along the edge. But I've already got this folded up so I, and glued, so I can't really show you that part. And this creates a pocket so that when I insert here, okay, well, let's do it. Okay, let's just put that in there and turn it over. And then, you see, I put the pocket and I just stitch or do my very small little edges here. Then it holds it. So, anyway, this is just a fun way to add some embellishments to your zine. Oh, what did I do here? That's the trouble when you've got a little bit of a mess. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed what I showed you today and that you'll give this a go. Um... And if I don't talk to you before, I may, but I don't promise, then please, Merry Christmas. Um, and I hope you have a joyous time with loved ones and family. If Christmas isn't something that you celebrate, you know, I hope that you're well and happy and that you're doing things that you love to do regardless. Um, so, all right. Thanks, guys. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye now.